Hello students, welcome back to another video and today we will be discussing about concepts of drug receptor interactions. And uh, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of receptors, their properties, drug receptor interactions, and types of binding forces. So moving on. So what is receptor? So receptor, it is basically a protein macromolecule or binding site present on the surface or inside the cells that binds with a drug molecule and, you know, initiate a response in the cell. So such a protein micromolecule which binds with a specific drug molecule and initiates a response is called receptor. And it possesses two important properties. First, it is highly selective and second, it is highly specific, meaning it will select the drug to which it binds and it will produce specific action each time it binds with the same drug. Now the receptor and the drug interaction is similar to that of lock and key mechanism. That means, you know, the receptor acts as a lock while the drug is the key for the receptor. To illustrate drug receptor interactions, let's consider a receptor and two drugs. Now looking at their structures, it is evident that the drug A can bind to the receptor while the drug B cannot bind to the receptor due to, you know, structural differences. Now when drug A binds to the receptor, it forms a drug receptor complex, which then enables the drug to produce a specific action on the receptor or the cell. Now this interaction is known as drug receptor interaction and is responsible for various actions in the body. No, the drug themselves possess properties such as affinity and intrinsic activity. Affinity refers to the drug's ability to bind with the receptor and form a drug receptor complex. If a drug can bind with the receptor, it has affinity for that receptor. On the other hand, if a drug cannot bind with the receptor, it lacks affinity for that receptor. Intrinsic activity, also known as efficacy, is the capacity of a drug to produce an action with the binding with the receptor. If a drug binds with the receptor and produces a desired action, it has intrinsic activity. But if a drug lacks intrinsic activity, it will not produce any action on the receptor. So let's visualize these two terms. Now you can see there are three types of drugs. One drug A, which can bind with the receptor and produces action. Now drug B cannot bind to the receptor due to structural difference, while the drug C can bind to the receptor but produces no action. Now in this case, in the case of the drug A, which binds with the receptor and produces the desired action, drug A has both affinity and intrinsic activity. Now let's consider drug B, which cannot bind with the receptor and therefore does not produce any action. Now the drug B lacks both affinity and intrinsic activity. Lastly, there is drug C, which binds with the receptor but does not produce any action. Now the drug C has affinity for that receptor but no intrinsic activity. Moving on, the next we have is binding forces. Upgrade your medical education with Scardia.com The ultimate online video platform tailored for medical students and professionals.